you shall be the head and not the tail. Those who are the head are the great. Am I right? He said you shall be the first and not the last. So you can see that in Christ Jesus, we have an inheritance. And one of the inheritance we have in Christ Jesus is the inheritance of greatness. Can you shout to that amen? Say me, I inherit greatness. I want you to say with passion. I want you to say with zeal and zest. Now, we inherit greatness from Jesus Christ. As God bestowed greatness on him, so he has bestowed greatness on us. So there is nothing small in you. If you are small and you are not living a great life, it's your choice. It's not because God made you to be small. God did not make his children to be small. He made us to be great because he made us in the order of Abraham. He cannot shout aloud the man. I said, cannot shout aloud the man. So as a believer, you must understand that God wants you to, to be great. He wants you to live a great life. He has already given you a great life. The life you have in Christ Jesus is a great life. It's a life that, that is superior to every other kind of life. Are we together? So because he has given us that life, it is left to us. The Bible says, let your light so shine. Let your light so shine. So even though he has given us light, he said we are the light of the world, he said expect us to let the light shine. That's what Jesus said, nobody light a candle and hide it under a table. If you hide your, your candle under a table, if you, if, if you put your light under a bushel, you will not enjoy the brightness. So the Bible said, nobody light a light and put it and hide it. So he said, let it shine. Believer can hinder his light from shining.